Hey everyone, welcome back to Mechanical Special. Modern vehicles are packed with technology to make them more efficient and safer to drive. Most vehicles have one primary engine control unit that manages all the engine functions to ensure it is running smoothly. The ECU gets all the relevant information it needs to make decisions from various sensors around the vehicle. To put it simply, if we consider the ECU as the brain of the vehicle, the sensors can be regarded as its sensory organs which feed it information to comprehend what is happening around it. The ECU utilizes the information of different sensors to adjust the ignition timing and fuel injection rate. Vehicle sensors are divided into three categories, engine control sensors, body control sensors, and sensors to control other components such as brakes, suspension, and transmission. So let's break down the most important types of car engine sensors and how they keep your ride in top shape. One mass airflow sensor. First up, we have the mass airflow sensor or MAF sensor. The MAF sensor is located between the air filter and the engine's intake manifold. The MAF sensor measures the amount of air entering the engine. Why is that important? Well, your engine needs the perfect air fuel mixture to run efficiently. If too much air enters the engine, the mixture becomes lean. But if too little air enters, the mixture becomes rich. The MAF sensor ensures your engine gets it just right. Think of it like your car's lungs. The MAF sensor helps your engine breathe properly, ensuring smooth acceleration and fuel efficiency. When it fails, you may face different issues including reduced engine power, reduced fuel efficiency, poor idling and engine vibration, hesitating or stalling during acceleration, check engine light on. 2. Oxygen Sensor Next, we have the O2 sensor. Oxygen sensors are located in the exhaust system. A car with only one catalytic converter has two oxygen sensors, upstream and downstream oxygen sensors. The oxygen sensor measures how much oxygen is in the exhaust gases to determine whether the fuel mixture is rich or lean. Why does that matter? It helps your car's computer adjust the air-fuel mixture for optimal combustion. When the oxygen sensor becomes faulty, it produces different issues such as misfiring, rough idle, increased exhaust emissions, unusual exhaust odor, sudden drop in gas mileage, trouble codes such as P0130, P0131, P0132, P0133, P0151, or P0152. 3. Throttle Position Sensor the throttle position sensor is attached to the throttle body. It monitors the position of the throttle valve, which regulates how much air enters the engine. When the driver presses the accelerator pedal, the throttle opens, and the sensor tells the engine control unit how far the throttle is open. This data is used to control the fuel injection, adjust ignition timing, and manage the idle speed. When the TPS sensor becomes faulty, it produces different symptoms such as sudden idle surges, hesitation while accelerating, check engine light, trouble codes such as P0121, P0122, or P0123. 4. Coolant Temperature Sensor Moving on to the coolant temperature sensor, it is located near the engine block. The coolant temperature sensor monitors the temperature of the engine coolant. This information helps the engine control unit control fuel delivery, ignition timing, and the operation of the cooling fan. When the engine is cold, more fuel is needed for combustion, and as the engine heats up, the ECU adjusts the fuel mixture to avoid overheating. If the coolant temperature gets too high, the sensor triggers the cooling fan to prevent engine damage. When the coolant temperature sensor becomes faulty, it produces different symptoms such as engine overheating, black smoke from exhaust, difficulty starting the car, rough idling. 5. Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor The Manifold Absolute Pressure Sensor, or MAP sensor, is typically located on the intake manifold, either next to or on the throttle body itself. It measures the pressure inside the intake manifold, where air is distributed to the engine's cylinders. It works hand-in-hand -hand with the MAF sensor. The pressure in the intake manifold varies based on engine load, and the sensor helps the engine control unit determine the air density. By knowing the air density, the ECU adjusts the fuel mixture for efficient combustion. This sensor is particularly important in turbocharged or supercharged engines 
to avoid overboosting and engine damage. When the map sensor goes bad, it produces different problems such as engine performance, engine misfire, poor fuel economy, difficulty starting the engine, rough idle. 6. Knock sensor. The knock sensor is usually located on the left side of the engine block, just below the intake manifold. It detects unusual vibrations or knocks in the engine caused by engine knocking. Knock occurs when the air-fuel mixture ignites prematurely, leading to inefficient combustion and potential engine damage. If the sensor detects knocking, it sends a signal to the engine control unit to adjust the ignition timing and prevent knocking. A healthy engine is a quiet engine and the knock sensor ensures that. When the knock sensor becomes faulty, it produces different symptoms, including excessive engine knocking, decreased acceleration, poor engine performance, lower fuel efficiency. Seven, crankshaft position, sensor. The crankshaft position sensor is usually mounted on the timing cover closer to the crankshaft. The crankshaft sensor tracks the position and speed of the crankshaft. The ECU uses this data to control the timing of fuel injection and ignition, ensuring that combustion happens at the right time. Apart from this, the signal is also used to see if any cylinder is misfiring. If the sensor is damaged, there will be no spark and the fuel injectors will not work. A faulty crankshaft position sensor produces different symptoms such as misfiring, rough idling, hard starting or no start, check engine light, Trouble codes such as P0335, P0336, P0337, or P0339. 8. Camshaft Position Sensor The camshaft position sensor is a critical component in a vehicle's engine management system. It is typically located near the camshaft, which is usually found at the top of the engine. The primary function of the camshaft position sensor is to monitor the position and rotational speed of the camshaft. Synchronizing the camshaft and crankshaft positions is critical for precise timing of valve operation and fuel injection. The camshaft sensor ensures that the valves open and close at the correct times, improving fuel efficiency and reducing emissions. When the camshaft position sensor goes bad, it produces different problems such as rough idling or stalling, check engine light, Poor fuel economy, hard starting or no start, trouble codes such as P0340, P0341, P0342, P0345, or P0349. 9. ABS Wheel Speed Sensor The ABS sensor, also known as a wheel speed sensor, is part of the anti-lock brake system. It is typically located in the wheel hub. The sensor detects the rotational speed of the wheel through the passing teeth of the tone ring and sends that information to the ABS control module to adjust braking pressure as needed. If a wheel is about to lock up during braking, the sensor signals the ABS system to modulate brake pressure, preventing skidding and maintaining control. This sensor is vital for ensuring effective braking, especially on slippery surfaces. A bad ABS wheel speed sensor can cause various issues with your vehicle's braking and stability systems, such as unusual brake behavior, uneven brake response, a BS warning light, increased stopping distance, wheel lockup, erratic speedometer readings. 10. Airbag Sensor Airbag sensors detect rapid deceleration or a collision impact, triggering the deployment of airbags in a crash. These sensors are typically located at the front and sides of the vehicle. When the sensor detects an impact above a certain threshold, it sends a signal to the airbag control unit, which inflates the airbags to protect passengers. As the airbag sensor becomes faulty, it produces different symptoms, such as airbag warning light, inoperative airbags, deactivation of airbag system, faulty airbag deployment. 11. Parking Sensors Parking sensors use ultrasonic or electromagnetic technology to detect obstacles near the vehicle when reversing or parking. They emit sound waves that bounce off nearby object. And when these waves bounce back from an object, the system calculates the distance and alerts the driver with visual or audible warnings if they get too close to an object, preventing minor collisions. These sensors help improve safety, reduce the chances of minor collisions during parking, and increase convenience for the driver, especially in tight spaces. 
When the parking sensor becomes faulty, it produces different symptoms including inconsistent beeping, constant warning tone, no warning beep, false positives, irregular sensor activation. 12. Rain sensor. The rain sensor is located behind the rearview mirror. It uses an infrared light or optical technology to detect water droplets on the windshield. When the light reflects differently due to raindrops, the wipers turn on automatically. This sensor adjusts the wiper speed based on the intensity of the rain. By automatically adjusting the wipers, it ensures that the driver can focus more on the road rather than fiddling with wiper controls, which enhances overall driving safety. When the rain sensor becomes faulty, it produces different issues including wipers do not activate automatically. Wipers operate erratically. Wipers stay on constantly. Incorrect wiper speed. That's all for today's video. If you learned something new today, hit that like button, subscribe for more car tech insights, and drop a comment if you have any questions about your vehicle sensors.